This call is being recorded. Welcome to a diary of a fashionista, everyone. As you will hear on Monday, because this will be the Tuesday, one of the Tuesday episodes of Ask When. I'm recording an interview on Ask When. And so this one will drop in the interim. And then... um. And then you guys will also hear this one on the Diary of a Fascinist. I don't know if I have the same crew listening to a Diary of a, of a Fascinista as I do ask when. I I don't know. I can't tell. We can't. Danielle and I can't tell by the download numbers. So um, we can tell what states are listening, but we can't tell who's listening per se. And so you guys go get the double episode on both feeds but um this is going to be the prelude episode to the episode on the 20 when we record on 21st actually it can be on the 20th i just sound out um in the past 24 hours that it can be on the 20th and I'll actually be in my new podcasting studio on the 20th when we record Yippee Skippy, which is a little, um, it's going to be hard for me to be in there because um, and I'll explain why on the 20th when we record. But Danielle and I were going back and forth yesterday about um, after we recorded yesterday's episode about what should we do tomorrow and I would I said preparing for change with CP. Now when I had so many abrupt changes in my life and even though and people know this and will now quote me on this slide, I say Sample Baldy doesn't like change, but Sample Baldy can get used to change as long as it comes um, slowly. As long as I'm giving time to adjust um, to change, I'm perfectly fine with changes. I just can't handle big abrupt changes within 24 hours. So, um, especially a death. <laughs> and so I handled that one in 2010. I also handled it again in May. And so this, um, this change has come to my attention it came to my attention slowly. So I was able to digest it slowly and get myself ready to go, even though I didn't um, handle news when the change actually came. And I'll explain why on the 20th when we we gone. And so basically, I would say try and tell people slowly about big, huge changes. I mean, I know autism needs a picture schedule, and I know that certain disabilities, like cerebral palsy, want to know when, how, and why we're doing this. But I also feel like change is a fact of life. And with this particular change, um, and with the other projects I'm going through right now, which it's kind it's easier to deal with change because granted it's almost the end of 2019 and even though this 
change wasn't planned. Change is all a fact of life. Change is all a fact of life. I mean, I I think it's just collided with the other project that I have going on right now. And yeah, the other projects that I have going on and this change collided within, I'm about to say 24 hours of each other, 24 hours of each other, which is not good. <laughs> and so I wish that my other projects um, went smoother than it's actually going. And I wish this change happened before the other project, but it didn't. And so change is a fact of life. And so we all have to deal with change. It's not, um, it's not like we're going to go to the same job every single day for the rest of our life. And it's not like people are not going to come in and out of our lives. And what um, what is happening now is I am swinging into action as I always do, at least with this change. I had a little bit more preparation than I had with my last change of AIDS. And so, um, and I'll explain on 20th what's going on. And so I'll also explain my other projects too. So I am thinking that it's going, it's going to be good. It's going to be, um, it's going to be good and it's going to be a fresh start and it's going to be good. I mean, change, as I said, change happens day in, day out. I mean, you get fall, you get summer, you get um, spring, you get winter. And when you think about it, even though it's changing of the season, it's changing of the season. Literally. And so um, we, we get used to we get used to things going on on our daily routines and time to switch it up. <laughs> time yeah. to switch it yeah. up. And so there the old laughing at me because of why I just used. But uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And as long as I thought about this and I thought, how am I going to present this publicly? Um, and I'll present it publicly this way. As long as I have a roof over my head and I'm eating and I'm actually talking to you guys and actually making sense and actually getting up and getting dressed and moving uh, around and going out to my daily activities every single day, um, I feel like uh, changing of AIDS is no big deal because as I said I've been um, exposed to so many abrupt changes that um, it's not funny anymore so I will explain why on the 21st we're actually doing this but I if <laughs> now this one is going to make me cry but um, trust me. My dad, one of his lines was, um, if the captain isn't, if the captain is white, then the shipmates have to worry. So, basically, if, um, if the shipmates get worried, which I'm not worried about yet. And so I'm not worried about it. I shouldn't say yet. I'm not worried about it. Until I get worried about it, I don't want you guys to be worried about it. And the fact of the matter is, I make close connections with my network and my aides included. And so I will just 
continue carry on. And um, in this particular sense, this person and I will still be good buddies. I mean, granted, this and this person was uh, this aide who's actually leaving, and I'll get into more on the 21st, why, and on the 20th, sorry. And so this person has now sat through a death, <laughs> and a death of her employer, a um, death, a very sad me, and she's lifting me up off the ground. And so um, I think that it's going to be a good thing that change is upon us. And we're going to, I at least, I'm going to roll with the punches, and I'm going to train someone how to work with me. I mean, I've been... Um, training people for years now and my dad let me train my age he let me train my age before he died so it's not i can train a like in two minutes um but it's not that big a deal and if this um in this particular case, if this person said, I don't want to be friends with you, I would completely respect that. But I feel like we all need to accept changes and we all need to deal with changes the best we can. And you don't hear in my voice, um, oh, I'm worried about getting do help you i you hear in my voice confidence and um you hear in my voice that it's gonna be okay you hear in my voice it's gonna be okay and um you haven't heard me you guys and then you haven't heard me yet burst into tears on this podcast i've been so strong because I've been dealing with a lot of changes in 2019, that this is small potatoes compared to um, compared to losing my dad, compared to losing my mom. This is small potatoes, and we worked it out this week, and we have, as I said, we have another aid interview and so on Wednesday so we'll see what happens we'll see what happens and um and as I said I'm so close to my network and close to my aides that will remain friends until something dramatic happens and for me to um, talk to you guys candidly about this and have the support of Danielle, I think is in, I think is incredible. And the funny thing is, I taught this particular aid how to listen to podcasts, and so yeah, <laughs> and so basically, I. Um, Taught this particular aid, and I'll I'll go I'll go into why I taught this particular aid how to listen to podcast and why we decided to get her on the podcasting track, and I she doesn't know this yet. But I sent her, I scheduled an email out, which you can do in Gmail. Um, I scheduled an email out to go out the 22nd. And I gave her, I gave her Ask Win, which is my interview show, which she has 
listen to as I've been recording. So it's not like she doesn't know that I have a podcast. I mean, everyone on the planet knows that I have a podcast. And everyone on the planet also knows that I do a podcast with Danielle, too, and about cerebral palsy. But this is one of the key sides of cerebral palsy losing. And trust me, Danielle has been through loss of um, care providers. And so I know that Danielle is fully ready to support me and fully ready to help me out. And when push comes to shove, it's like I have my network, but I can um, also find, tap into different resources, and that's what I'm doing. I'm tapping into different resources that I need to tap into. And so this is, as I said, is small potatoes. So enough of me talking, I'm going to let Danielle talk. I like when good changes happen in my life. When it is good stuff, I embrace it as much as possible. If it is bad chances that I don't like, I talk to my family or lay down on my bed and try to make myself human again. Well, um, yeah, the good stuff in place. The okay stuff we don't necessarily in place, but um, I I could see the writing on the wall with this one, and it's going to be good, and it's going to be good. As I said, I can tap into my network the um, good stuff we embrace, and so and. My my feeling is changes happen every single day. And I'm going, before Daniel says thank you for following us, I'm actually going to end with a quote. And the quote is, people may forget what you say, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. And that's how I'll end this episode and we'll just carry on. We'll just carry on. And when um we when we record the episode on the 20th, I'll go into more details about my other projects and um what that entails. And that's gonna be a headphones in ep- That's gonna be a head phones in the episode, yes, and because I'm going to be mentioning a word that I don't want kids to hear, and um, and my aide actually has supported me through this other project, and so I'm really grateful for the support I have had, and my aide will, even though she won't be working with me on a daily basis, uh, she will still support me when we when we get to the end of this other project. And that I'm truly grateful for. And I'm also truly grateful for you guys for listening to A Diary of a Fashionista. And I'm also truly grateful for the change of fall. <laughs> I'm also really grateful for the support that I do have. And I am truly grateful to see what the future holds. And it will be good. It will be good. And then Danielle, after um, Danielle, after the 20th, then I have decided this. I want to do an episode on how we actually actually train AIDS because Danielle and I may do it differently. Well, Danielle does it 
differently than I do. And so I want to do an episode before we do a morning and evening routine about how we train aids after. So the week week of the 20th, we'll do a training of the AIDS episode because um, I'll be going to that. And so, um, here I thought a diary was, uh, here I thought a diary of a faculty still was going to um, take a little bit of bias, but I guess not. And so, uh, yeah. And so we'll let you guys know when um, that episode actually happens, but we'll still be recording on the 20th and we'll make it work, you guys. So, Danielle, do you want to say anything else? I'll lead everyone out on this beautiful Thursday morning, even though this episode is being recorded on a Saturday. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. And please share and subscribe. And how you can help me through this change is if you go to chirp.com and then you will put this in the show notes or if you go to patreon.com slash askwin you can either buy my books on audio tape or you can easily support the podcast so that is the best way you can support me right now is support me financially so I can actually support others financially and um help help when I can financially. So uh, Danielle will put that in the show notes how to actually download the Chirp app and how Chirp is similar to ACX Audible create authors creation exchange. That's what ACX stands for. And or you can buy my book on Audible and then um I'll just buy it on Amazon. I don't care. And so you can buy I Come Away and all my books on Audible and on Chirp and pass this episode out. And that's what that's how you can help me out financially. You can also help Dan Young financially by buying her books. And so we'll catch you guys next Monday and have a beautiful Thursday, you guys, and we'll catch you guys next Monday. Bye, you guys. Bye.